Why, hello there, fellow charcoal burners. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 22, More Charcoal. Just so much random stuff everywhere. No organization to speak of. Another thing I could do is make an armor stand at some point to put my armor on. Which is, uh, I would need to collect a lot of hay grass, but that allows you to just have your armor sitting there for when you're not wearing it. Which is kind of convenient. So let's do the boss first. So it's just sort of a a circle thing that goes in the middle. And yeah, this is only going to be one piece. Unless I screw up. Try to avoid that. Oh, uh, like that. Real carefully when you get to the end. And there we go. Now I've got the boss. Because there's a little bit more heat in the forge, I might as well just heat that and get up a little bit hotter. And this is ready to go. So pull that charcoal out. And do my pores. Someday I'll have a dedicated dedicated smithy and I won't have to like fend off drifters as I try to pour my liquid metals but for now I have like crippled drifters trying to murder me as I <laughs> sign metal work you know just normal things uh, so what it was 92 and 8 So I'm doing the boss and the hoop first, in case you guys have regrets with me forging four more ingots for the plates. What I should have done is made the boss and the hoop first, and then been like, alright, so if you want an oak shield, I have all the materials right now, and if you want a tin bronze shield, I have to, uh... make four more ingots. Although, this is, uh, I like metalworking. Something relaxing about it.
Almost done with this piece. So there's different ways to do it. You can rotate it or you can hit it directionally. I just, uh, the way I do it is I just do whatever my whimsy feels is right. Oops, that was a mistake. Not a fiddle one though. There it is. This is still soft. Waiting for that to stop sizzling. So I can handle it with my bare hands. All right, so we'll put the boss in the, uh, the hoop in this box with the lamellae. Um, we need a, uh, well that will remain hot for a while. And then if it starts to cool down, I can always, um, I can always heat it back up a bit. But we're waiting for the other molds to get cool. Uh, what? What did even hurt me? Oh, did I step on it, maybe? I'm hunting you. You're not hunting me. Get back here. <laughs> Trespassers must die. Oh, wow. That's a lucky rift. It's, uh... It's on my bees. Mind your bees knees. <laughs> Can't believe it. Ah, oh, it's still soft. The other skeps are still empty. That's hilarious. The, the portal to the rust world is, like, in my beehive. Yeah, well, this is still molten. I will, for good measure, just, like, add one more charcoal to keep it hot. Come on. Flax and, and uh, bone. That's how I, I pass my time. As an archaeologist digging up bony soil. Alright. That got hot. Still waiting on the... Oh, there we go. Probably shouldn't have done that because I'm going to need those uh, hot to work into plates. Oh well, too late. Already dumped it. Oh, the end time's screwed up? Yeah. Seems to be. Must have typoed. So now it's a little moot. I already have... Uh, let me pour, please. There we go. Now I have all the, um, tin bronze ingots, uh, for the shield, I think, right? Yeah, two plates. Okay, so let's, um, 
What I am going to do now is grab my axe and uh, uh, start working on... Oh, you know, I really need more axes. But start working on a charcoal run. Because we're going to absolutely run out of uh, charcoal. Doing the, the rest. So, updating. Continue making bronze armor and making charcoal. One of those uh, bronze ingots might become a, an axe blade to make cutting down trees not so labor intensive. I didn't realize my uh, my copper axe was so toast. It's pretty destroyed. Now the uh, the resin that I need for later on does respawn on trees. So if I want to farm resin, it's also nice to if if I find a pine tree that has resin to mark down that pine tree and then return to it later on, much later on, but later on once it respawns resin. So anytime I cut down pine, I should be careful uh, to make sure that it is not a resin producing tree before failing it. So I'm not really interested in reinventing the wheel. I'm just going to use my old uh, charcoal kiln. This 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 one to make my next run. Is that a wolf? No, that's a tree thing. self stuck Resin responds every eight days? Good enough. Didn't know how long it was, but I knew it does happen. So I'll leave the resin trees alone. I think these are the birch trees I planted myself when I lived in this little dirt hole behind me. Now this, um, you know, maybe I won't, oh, that wasn't a mature tree enough. Oh well. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'll just use flint tools. It's obviously faster with, with metal ones. But I'd not, I'd rather not have to forge another ingot if I can help it. I'm lazy. Crunch. I probably scavenged all the flint that's like around my starter base because I was making flint tools. So now that I need another flint axe. Did I break both axes? I did. Okay, I'm axeless. I'll just go back to the base and grab some flint. Oh, perfect. There's one.
Okay. Another thing to keep an eye out is, like, if there's anything good to hunt, I'm always on the hunt for hunting. I still want more animal fat, more hide. I would really like to start uh, properly getting leather working underway, but I don't really have the source of lime or uh, borax yet. Someday, maybe. In terms of world gen, there is non-granite to the northwest, so that would be a good place to start hunting for um, for sedimentary layer stuff. Because often what you'll hear is like, if you so in world generation, you have different rock layers, sedimentary, uh, igneous, and metamorphic, and um, a finite number of stuff can generate in your uh, sedimentary layer and your granite layers. So if you take a look at, like, granite, oh, wrong, it's so, like granite rock, for instance, it's a host rock for tin, for chromium, titanium, copper, iron, nickel, zinc, cinnabar, quartz. But it does not give you things like borax or lime. So, borax... Uh, borax bits is found in chalk. And then lime would just be like limestone, chalk, uh, marble. And that's not going to be found in granite biomes. So uh, what you'll often hear is like, if you spawn in and there's just granite on the minimap for miles in every direction, just like re-roll a new world gen. Because if you're surrounded by granite, you're going to have to do a lot of travel to find uh, the materials that you're going to need to uh, to progress. And can agree... When I play tested this game for the first time, I was given one such world gen that like simply had granite in every direction for an unbelievable amount of distance. And I didn't realize what I was missing out on. Like I had no concept of like, oh man, I'm screwed technologically. Just didn't know until I got there. And then when I got there and I was like, oh, so I need lime for my lime washes. Oh, is that, uh... yeah, this is a resin tree. So let's leave this one standing. And mark it down. And then realized, yeah, they were like an hour walk in every direction. There was not going to be, um, you know, limestone or chalk or marble. I was like, ouch. And just I ended up using uh, dev mode because I, I just at that point wanted to learn the game and didn't realize I had such a cursed seed until I got to like leatherworking and I was like, oh, I can't progress. <laughs> it was rough. So if you're new to the game, beware of that because that's a thing that can happen. Uh, same with bauxite. Bauxite is another uh, is another material that you're gonna want for steel making. Um, which you often could find in the map like this, because it's, uh, orangey, sort of bright orange, like, uh, that's probably sandstone or something, but, um, you can find bauxite, but, again, that's not gonna, you're not gonna, oh, another resin tree, you're not gonna find bauxite, um, in granite. Hmm. I'm not that tall. Ah, fine, I'll dig. And of course I fell.
Leave that one alone, then. Yeah, it could be definitely a pain to get a good seed, for sure. Especially if you're a new player and you can't identify bad seeds at a glance. Like I was. But now that I'm relaying that information over to you, you guys can know, like, being in a giant granite area has uh, pretty distinct disadvantages when it comes to um, leatherworking and steel making. And I would go so far as to say, like, being in a biome that has, like, a variety of resources is going to be best anyway. You know, to have a little bit of everything available. Rather, you know, because you don't want to be in just, like, one giant grassland or one giant forest. Because the the variety of um, resources is, is going to help as well. So a diverse terrain. I could do a smaller run of charcoal, but I feel like I'm just, I, I just should uh, ought to bite the bullet and do the big run now. God, flint tool suck. <laughs> As they should, you know? You don't... They're not made of metal, they shouldn't be very good. That's not a lot of effort to get another axe. So we got one layer, now we just need the second one. I'm only going for a 3x3x2. Three by three by for your sanity as well as mine. Doing a little bit of checking, make sure it's not a resin tree, but I don't think this one is. Chop it. So that last run of bronze is, um, more quartz. That lost run of bronze is probably solidified by now. Uh, but I don't think... I might not have enough copper. I might not have the 92 copper for another run. Oh, actually, the next run is going to be... Probably just three copper. Or, or uh, three bronze rather than the five. Because I don't need more ingots. At least not yet. I'm also definitely heading into like nasty bear and wolf territory but because I don't I'm not far from home I'm not overly concerned about them nibbling on me because if I died here I'd be able to get back well within respawn loot time
preparatory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, Spitfire. Welcome to the stream of this. How many more did I need? I forget. I had two of the nine, I think, filled out. Your sanity is being drained while you're home? Uh, you should see that. That doesn't sound correct. Sounds like you have a rift close by or something. Or your home is like way underground. Something like that. Oh, heard a bear. That's my cue to leave. Do we have any armor? Uh, we already have the helmet and the pants. Oh, I overran it. So we're working on the lamellae for the, the chest piece. But we're running low on charcoal, so to save us time, future time, I'm just getting a run of charcoal going now. It will take uh, take a day to burn. So if there was bears that way, red wine cap. Door. Yoink. I'm just gonna eat it raw. I know it's better cooked. Character's hungry. Once I need quartz, it won't be hard to get quartz. There's quartz everywhere where I live. To the point where, like, I stopped marking it down. But that's probably true of most people that play. You end up with just a lot of quartz. It's a very common uh, thing to find everywhere. Which is convenient when you want to make, like, nice windows on everything. Oh, another thing is, like, I ran out of peat. So I'll just grab a little peat for, like, typical cooking. Very economical foods, uh, fuel source. I'm gonna seal your stones. Ooh, got one. funny that it's rain is like I guess it's common here but it's uncommon in my base and it rains regularly chiseling out a water a trough or a canoe would be cool well there is troughs for animals but you don't chisel it quite like that uh, canoes would be cool but there are rafts I think in the roadmap, like other travel is planned. It's just not, you know, in the game yet. The only the only travel that you got right now is uh, is rafts, and they're not fast, so it's not like a it's not something that you'll use to go f far distances fast, like a minecart, for instance.
Well, it's getting late. It's what, uh, 7 p.m. in game? Ooh. Let's do some prospecting. Oh, I already prospected this area. I have, uh, prospecting markers not too far from here. In fact, I think this is where I found my Cassiterite. Yeah. So I'm not even going to mark that down. Just realized I'd been here, done that. Hey, Spitfire, thank you for continuing your sub. I hear enemies. Everyone snows at me from the cave. I'm gonna call you Troll. Bye, Troll. You built your house on a um, temporally insta unstable place. Uh, <laughs> that's a rough lesson in uh, planning and architecture, if if I do say so myself. I find it not to laugh at your misfortune, but I find it rather funny that... Uh, that you didn't notice that your gear was spinning while you were putting down your initial foundation. You know, your... Because temp temporal instability is, uh, is a pretty pretty distinct UI feature. Hard, hard to miss. Oh, I missed a piece. That's dangerous. I don't think I missed any other pieces. So, uh, no, because I have 10 left. So one more stack. Let's do that quick. And get this burning before, uh, before it gets too dark. So I'm going to go back into bear territory. Uh, it's right there. So, I'll go this way. <laughs> Ow. Hope I'm far enough. Big tree. I'll make it all into firewood. I always use firewood for other things. Plus, I need like four more to set the fire. All right, there we go. I know it took a while, but. This will tide us over for a bit. So I'll set the fire there. But I need to cover more of the stuff up. So we're good to cover. 
charcoal pit. All right, charcoal. See you in about a day or two. Uthi, thanks for uh, swinging by. I appreciate it. You know, the other thing I could do is mark this down as a charcoal pit, I guess. And then get rid of my dirt home because I don't live there anymore. Perfect. So you guys voted on me continuing the bronze armor. And I should be up to 8 Lamalea of the 11 I need, something like that. Guess I'll know when I get there. Oh, it burned out. Well, that wasn't a lot of food. <laughs> I'll get some of that uh, lovely meat I have. Yeah, it's starting to spoil quick. Congrats on the torch holder. Well, thanks. It was a nice find. Alright, uh, what was I working on? Out here? So here's the ingots that will be turned into plates. And, um, and I think I have four of them now. So let's do a... Yeah, so I have uh, nine lamele, so I needed 11 for the armor, so one more run is enough. Perfect. The next casting won't be ingots. Is there something I should cast? I'm trying to think. Hmm. The other thing I could do, actually, is, well... So, I might want, at some point, like a copper lantern... But, uh, but right now I just want to make a run of, um, of bronze so I can finish up the armor. I don't think I have enough copper to make it economically, though. So, I'll have to do that in the morning, because, um, I don't want to have a heavy cassiterite bronze, because I'm trying to conserve my cassiterite as much as I can. Um, so we'll have to go copper hunting, uh, when the sun's up. Check up on the farm. All looks good. Nothing's fully grown. But nothing has, uh, been eaten by bunnies or whatever. Oh, so this skip, see how this is harvestable? in the tooltip in the uh, top center. That means that there's honey in there. Uh, but if I harvested it because they haven't swarmed to adjacent skeps, I would lose all my b my bees. So, I'm not doing that. But, uh, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's good to know. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch, November 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. 
thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs.